G'day guys, it's Russell here. I'm recording a series of how-to videos to help you get the most out of the Xpeng G6. I'm not an expert, I'm a new EV owner, I just want to pay it forward and share what I'm learning. Now one of the things you might want to do when you first get your Xpeng G6 is to customise the way in which the driving dynamics behave. So let's go into settings here and if we look at drive, one of the options that you'll see in this section here is that there are some predetermined settings and what will happen if you choose one of those predetermined settings is all of these individual aspects of, of driving dynamics uh, will change according to that predefined setting. So at the moment I'm on the individual setting and that allows me to customize each of these individual sort of sub menus. So the power response, the power steering, the brake pedal feel, the level of regeneration and so on. So let's go back to this uh, top row here and I'm going to press eco and when I press that, of course it's green and you get this nice little audio confirmation. And so the power response is set to comfort, the power steering comfort. Now it allows me to adjust those even though I'm in eco mode, but the power response has sort of set itself. It won't allow me to change that. Now the, oops, sorry guys, I'm all over the place here. The brake pedal feel, it'll also allow me to change that. Uh, and the regen will also allow me to change it. but it converts back to this setting but it still allows me to change if I want to. Uh, so let's go to standard now and again what you'll see is the power response curve has now moved and it won't let me change that. Now interestingly the regen has gone to low. Uh, I'm going to go back to eco and just check out that interesting. Okay so there you go regen low has gone to X pedal and that's naturally because in eco mode we want to get as much range as possible Therefore, the response is very mild, but the regen is very, very high. Okay, and that makes sense. So let's go to Sport. And of course, red goes faster, so we get the red confirmation and the little zoom uh, audio confirmation as well. Now, we can have this launch, and to be honest, I've had the vehicle for just over four months now, and I've never played around with launch. I like to treat this car very, very well. It gets a wash inside and out every weekend without fail, and I drive it with respect. So, look, it's an electric car. It's a bit sporty. I'm sure it's not going to do any harm to play around with the launch mode every now and then or give it a really good boot every now and then to just appreciate how responsive these vehicles really are. Um, but I actually haven't had a chance to play with this one. Not that I haven't had a chance. I just haven't played with launch mode yet. Uh, but you'll see the power response can't be adjusted. The uh, others, the power steering and brake feel, uh, pedal feel, have gone to standard which can be adjusted and the regen is gone to low. Alright let's go to, uh, I'm going to have a play with that later uh, and I'll report back. So individual, this goes to the settings that I like to keep it on, um, the power response, I don't need it to be sport mode because again I drive in a fairly you know, moderate kind of sedate <laughs> or like a grandma um, might drive from time to time. I'm sure every now and then I like to enjoy the responsiveness but I tend to have it on standard power response. Uh, the power steering I actually like it very very light. When I first drove the Xpeng G6 um, for the very first time I was not shocked but amazed at just how light the steering was but you can make these uh, adjustments here and make it feel a little firmer a little heavier if you want to which I did initially, but I found myself going back to comfort because it's so easy to manoeuvre. Uh, even though it's light, the, the, the response or the feedback is still quite good. Brake pedal standard, not too soft, not too hard, just right in the middle of there somewhere. And I like it set on X pedal, which is, um, which is fantastic. It took some time to graduate uh, through these various levels, and I think having the various levels is fantastic. Um, so that you can graduate, but X pedal is terrific. You hardly ever have to touch the brake. It won't slow down, well at the time of recording this video anyway, it won't slow down to a complete stop, but honestly I would say 80 to 90 percent of the time I never have to touch the brake anyway. It slows down so much to basically one kilometer per hour and there's rarely a time where I actually have to touch the brake lightly to make it stop. Um, and if there's a slight incline, and I mean a slight incline in the road, it's not going anywhere anyway. So I think it's a good thing, just while we're finishing off this chat uh, about X uh, pedal, I think it's a good thing to touch the brakes every now and then, just to keep the discs clean and look after them. So I I'm all for the X pedal having 
you know, that one or two kilometers um, and not coming to a complete stop again at the time of recording this video. All right, so there are some of the predefined settings. You can adjust the majority of them anyway, um, but I like individual because you've got complete control over how all of these di uh, driving dynamics or characteristics will perform. Now, of course, you can press the reset button um, to put everything back to normal. Uh, but now that I've made these adjustments, I'll leave them right there. All right, guys, well, there's another quick video on how to change the dy dynamics or customize the way in which the vehicle behaves uh, based on some of those settings that we looked at. So I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in another video soon.